In this video, I'll be making an improvised furnace for melting aluminum that can be made just about anywhere. This design is also ideal for building a fire that's easy to cook over while concealing the flames below ground and creating very little smoke. I start by digging a hole in the ground approximately 2-3 to three feet in diameter. As it gets deeper, it's important to keep the sides vertical so the hole doesn't get much narrower toward the bottom. Once down to about 3 feet, it's time to move on to the next step. The fire is going to need an air source to burn properly below ground. For this, a narrow tunnel is dug on an angle a few feet away from the first hole, in such a way that they will intersect at the bottom. Once the shovel breaks through, all the hard work is completed, and after removing any loose dirt, we're ready to burn. The side vent to the hole provides plenty of airflow for a hot, clean burning fire, but to really kick up the heat so I can quickly melt down aluminum, I'll later be positioning a fan to force even more air into the flames. What I've decided to use as my crucible is an inexpensive stainless steel pot. Steel takes a lot more heat to melt than aluminum, so it should work well. A common source of aluminum for hobby projects is soda cans, and they should melt quite easily. I also picked up some aluminum turnings that were scraps left over from a local machine shop, so I'll be melting those as well. To support the crucible over the fire, I'm using a strip of steel through the handles. It's now time to kick on the fan. It's positioned facing down into the vent, and can be supported however is most convenient. Here I'm using a small fan that could easily be run by a small solar panel, but a larger, more powerful fan could make for an even hotter fire. As the aluminum in the crucible slowly melts, it frees up space to keep adding more. Pressing the newly added metal down into the molten puddle beneath it speeds up the process. I soon realized I was going to have trouble with my crucible when the handles started breaking free. What had first appeared to be steel rivets attaching the handles to the pot began melting, clearly identifying them as aluminum. Without the handles, the project still continued on fine, with the crucible sitting directly on the coals. With a good deal of my aluminum now molten, I thought it might be interesting to try making a rough cast simply into the pile of dirt dug out earlier. It seems the moisture in the soil causes quite a few bubbles, so I think I'll scrap that idea for more traditional casting methods in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me some feedback in the comments below, and subscribe to follow my future projects. The channel Cottage Life here on YouTube once again stopped by to sponsor this video, and I couldn't ask for a better channel to recommend for you to check out. They've got tons of how-to videos, and all of them are extremely entertaining and professionally made. If you haven't already subscribed to Cottage Life from the last time I mentioned them, you're really missing out. If you have already subscribed, you should stop by their channel again anyway, because they've posted dozens of new videos since then that you might have missed. You can click the annotation on screen now to be directed to one of their latest videos, a DIY pizza oven, and I'll put a link to Cottage Life's main channel page in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.